So now what we're going to do is just add some visual effect to this uh, animation. So what we want is to increase and decrease the button every time we press on it. So we have this function right below, so inside the IB action, where we're going to animate. So you're already familiar with animate with duration and the parameters. So first there is a duration and a delay that we're going to leave as zero because we want the animation of the button to start immediately when you press on the button. And we use as well spring animation with using spring with damping and initial spring velocity. So what it does is that it creates a really lifelike animation effect and it's, it adds some flexibility to it by creating a bouncy effect. And the lower the value of using spring with damping is, the bouncier the effect will be. So here we're using 0 0.6 and 1 for the spring velocity. So right inside the animation's closure, this is where we're going to add so our code in order to create the animation. So this is what we're going to do. So we have the play button right here. We're going to assign self and we want to change the bounds so that's going to be bounds size and then width and we're just going to increase by a little bit maybe 10 pixels only so we do increment and assign at the same time by doing plus and equal sign so we're going to start with that we're going to save and run and you're going to see what happens every time we press on the play button so that's going to increase by 10 every time we press on it although it looks a little bit funny because it keeps increasing without going back to the original size. So what we need to do is once we have completed the animations, we want to reset the button to the original size. So we have already prepared that actually right here. We have a completion parameter, completion closure. And when it's finished, we want to create another animation. So we're going to use again animate with duration with the same parameters. So we're going to be, we're going to put no delay, of course, and it's going to last like for like 30 milliseconds. And this time we use an option, which is curve is out, which is going to allow to slow down the animations near the end of the animation. So it's going to start fast and then slow down at the end. So here we're going to play button decrease. And instead of having plus, we're going to have minus. So let's play that to see how this works. Every time we press play, we decrease, we increase by 10, and then we decrease again. 